there we are. All right, so we're back. I am now uh, doing some more work on these bricks. Um, again, my name is Tammy Neff. You're on my page called Tammy Loves, where I bring you things that I find that I think you might love too. So um, we are on step number three of these bricks. So let me flip you around. Okay, so what I'm doing now is more antiquing. So initially what you guys saw in the last video from today, we were trying to make the um, natural bleeds of the water damage uh, match in, okay? So now what I'm doing is just rubbing some color on to give it some antique. I wanna leave the white showing through, um, but we are working on just antiquing it a little bit. He wanted it not white white because this is a very um um warm it's a warm homey and i did, we didn't want the white to be sore thumb so we're just warming up the white a little bit it's still there it's totally the schmear look but we're just aging it a little bit um a little bit more so we finished now also where this flue hole was we we filled it with uh we put a cardboard box in there then we mudded it and then um, Jessica dried with a hair dryer. You can see it's starting to dry a little bit white. And then we just used our finger to continue all of the grout marks. And then I have actually glazed over this. We need to see how it dries because it's not quite dry. So obviously, and it probably won't be dry all the way until morning, but we feel like that's a pretty good patch if it dries out white like the rest of it. So anyway, we're gonna move into here and I'm gonna let you guys see what I'm doing. I'm gonna give the phone to Jess. Um, maybe I ought to grab the ladder. That's okay, I'll grab it. up in here okay so now what I'm using is clear glaze and I'm using a color called Tammy Loves Beige you guys <laughs> again our country chic paint line and they let us uh, make our own colors and I've always loved this beige color so I asked them to make this and label it Tammy Loves Beige so we have our country chic paint Tammy Loves Beige mixed with glaze so here's if you can tell i'm not sure the camera will let you see um, hardly any paint in this it's a lot of glaze all right and so i'm going to go up here and i'm just going to hit some spots and show you i'm using a fat chip brush like you guys see all of us using chip brushes all the time this is a monster chip brush and i'll show you why because when you start it just covers so much more ground and this is all i'm doing i'm just rubbing places here and there. Let me go up a little, one more little lip, ledge here, one more step. A lip and a lip, <laughs> one more <laughs> step is a lip. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna get really close to the trim, which we tried. He's out of town and we cannot get this to stay up. We hammered and pounded and did everything we could, so we're, we just did the best we could with what we were dealt there. And he's gonna have to fix that when we get back, when he gets back and we'll fix ours when he's back. So anyway, we did the best we could with that, didn't we, Jess? We tried. We really tried. Okay, so then I'm just filling in. I'm trying to avoid the red bricks somewhat. I don't want it to look totally um, like spotted around the bricks. So whenever I hit a brick, I just have a wet rag and I just wipe off the brick so that uh, if I don't, let me just show you. If I don't, see how it's softened and the other is more harsh. I want that harsh red popping, so I'm wiping that off. Um, and that's it, we're just, we're just doing this and then I'll have one more final step that I wanna do um, that you know, now is a little more popular with all of the um, dripping that the turquoise iris started on her furniture that we have been dripping for years and years of our bricks. And I will show you that. I mentioned it yesterday that I learned it in a school in Michigan. And it really just kind of puts the final touch on. And so I want to make sure that I do, I do that. So anyway, I'm going to finish filling this in, but I just wanted you guys to see how easy it is. I'm, and that's all I'm doing. I'm not wiping it off. You could. When you put it on, you could wipe it off. Probably looks a little stronger because of the light than maybe what it did out there. But I'm just, I'm just taking this and wherever I feel like I see a big spot, I just add it in. And then I stand back. At some point here, I stand back or I'll have 
just stand back for me. And what we'll, what we're looking for is, does it look even? Is it heavy somewhere? Does it need connected? And then we'll fill in. So you always want to stand back from your work um, before you're completely done and make sure you don't have a big round, you know, like I don't want giraffe spots. So if you see what I mean, I don't want giraffe spots. I kind of want them to lead in and out of each other. So anyway, that is step three. <laughs> see you, bye.